Hey friends, it's Jacqueline here. In today's video, I'm bringing you my Shantekai recommendations for the upcoming holiday sale. But before we get started, and if you're new here, I hope that you will consider and subscribe to my channel, ring that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads, and come and follow me on my Instagram. And now, if you want to see how I achieve this look using my favorite Shantekai products, then just keep on watching. We are about to step to the biggest holiday events of the season and one of them is from Shantekai. They will be offering 30% off side-wide, yes, you heard it right, side-wide. If you are subscribed to their newsletter, they will send you a special invitation. I will be leaving all the details on the description box below for your convenience. And the sale is going to start November 19th and the 30% off, it will end on November 22nd. Then on November 23rd, it will be open to the public with 25% off. Again, all the details will be down on the description box below. And I'm super excited because I, I mean, I have so many beautiful products here from Shantekai that I really, really, truly trust, that I have tried, and I'm so happy to be able to recommend them to you. Not only that, but in today's video, I'm collaborating with a great creator here on YouTube. Her name is Steffi from Steffi Glam. I have collaborated with her before. We did a group collaboration about, oh, it's gonna be like four months ago. Time really flies, huh? Anyhow, my friends, if you're looking for reviews on the latest releases in the beauty industry, you have to go and check Steffi. She, I mean, she will do everything. She will go to the mall, go to whatever the store is at to get the product and get you the review even the same day she's on it her channel is still a small but mighty so i will invite you to please go and check her out she will also be doing a recommendations video from shantekai and i'm super curious to know what will she be recommending to us now on my side right here i have a few products some skincare some makeup and then i will be throwing here and there a little bit of the items that are on my wish list and starting with the skincare i have to recommend you this product this has been a game changer for me is that gold recovery intense concentrate PM. So this right here is a regimen, a system that covers 28 days or an entire month. So I'm already on my last ampule and you just have to use it during the night time. Now for me to see results, what I did is I completely took out pretty much everything from my skincare routine, just went ahead and did a full on trial of this. It basically does, it plumps your skin, it kind of like evens out your complexion, it does diminish the redness, it does have copper peptides, and it actually, what it happened on my skin specifically, is I saw a diminish on the redness on my skin. I used to have a lot of redness all over my skin. Now I only have a little bit right here in this area, and that's it. Also, the fine lines, they look a little bit more plump and not so profound. I mean, such a beautiful product and a game changer. Now, this you don't need to use it like every single month. You can use these like, I mean, it's up to you. Every two months, every three months, you know, you can even use it like seasonally. And that's what I'm planning to do. So I'm planning to get one for my own on this sale because I mean 30% off of this full system is amazing. Talking about skincare and if you're new here welcome to my channel I'm super happy that you're here and I do have dry sensitive skin I'm on my fourth floor so I do have signs of aging and I have been enjoying a lot this Rose de May cleansing balm so this cleansing balm is I mean, I have never experienced a cleansing balm like this right here. This cleansing balm does have a moisturizer-like texture, so it's very soothing to the skin, it's non-stripping, 
I mean, and it actually melts off all your makeup and it does it in the most gentle way for your skin and is very, very effective. Another thing that I like to use it in conjunction, so basically I use these to remove the first, say the first layer of my makeup and then to finish off and wash it all off, I like to use the rice and geranium foaming cleanser. Now, as a person that have dry skin and sensitive skin, I honestly do not like to use foaming cleansers because usually they end up stripping the skin. They end up, you, you know, like you feel that tightening effect. Like in fact, sometimes when somebody says, oh, I leave my skin skin squeaky clean I feel like oh no that's painful because I start feeling all the dryness wherever I'm not supposed to be feeling it and this right here is completely different if you just need a tiny amount and when I say a tiny amount not even a pea size amount like less than that and it actually washes off all what I mean like if you wear SPF that you should wear SPF it actually removes all your SPF really well. It also has a little bit of rice particles that it actually helps to physically exfoliate your skin, but in a most gentle way, an effective way too. My next favorite product is that Pure Rose Water. This right here it doesn't only refresh your skin, but it actually brings hydration to your skin. So you can use it right after you finish with your entire skincare, kind of like to finish it off. You can use it before you start your makeup, after you do your makeup. I mean, there's multiple ways that you can use the rose water and you can use it throughout the day. It actually feels like a drink of water to your skin. It's very nourishing and beautiful and it doesn't have any particles or residue, it's non-sticky, I mean, it's a lovely, lovely product. Now, going into a product that is in between, I mean, like, it's a serum, but also I use it when I'm doing my makeup, is that Radiance Elixir. And these are here, is what it says, is a radiance elixir. It will give you a very beautiful glow. Now, another thing that is important for you to know if you are new to Shantekai and the skincare line of Shantekai is that they use a lot of botanical ingredients. So it's a very clean brand, gluten-free brand, vegan brand, and it actually does give you that beautiful glow to your skin. And this one right here, it definitely gives you a very beautiful glow to your skin. Your skin looks more awakening. And another trick that I was given by Angela Barthel, who is an educator at Shantekai, is to use this elixir also on my eyelids as a prep or kind of like as a primer for my eyeshadows. And honestly, it does work great. And believe me, it, this right here is another product, same thing that you will not find any residue, any stickiness. I mean, your skin will absorb it right away and you will see the glow right away, but without any type of film, nothing. I mean, it's one of the most elegant serums that I have tried. Now, before I move on into the makeup section of Shantekai, I have to say this right here. Angela sent me this, it's called the Nano Gold Energizing Eye Serum. And this thing is beautiful. I mean, the applicator of this, it just makes it for an entire beautiful spa-like experience. I mean, it has this ball right here, like roller ball, and you just apply it on under your eyes. I mean, I apply it all around my orbital area of my eye, and it just feels so soothing, yet it kind of like re-energize your skin. Like it actually clumps up that area and you just feel like, kind of like if you're putting a little bit of Botox under there because that's the way that I feel it. And I think the cooling sensation too is beautiful. This is supposed to come, I think it's a larger container, kind of like a long tube right here. Again, this is a little sample size that it was very kindly gifted to me by Angela Barthel, but I haven't tried it. I actually finished the two that she sent me and it's something that I'm really, really considering to get part of my wish list, definitely. And now going into my makeup recommendations, I will be inserting a little bit of footage of how I apply my makeup today because yes, I'm wearing a full face of Shantikai. So the first product that I apply as a primer is the Radiance Elixir. Like I said, this is a product that you don't even need to let it seep because it will absorb completely into your skin. It will give you that hydration 
hydration and beautiful glow but there's no film under it i mean it's just again it's such an elegant serum that your skin just drinks it and then the glow is there for you now as a base there's two bases that i really really love from shantikai and for different reasons the first one is the future skin this one right here is more of like a gel like type of foundation to me it's kind of like an everyday wear a product that has a skincare benefit that is very very lightweight i think this specific foundation it's amazing for those i will say you know, if you're starting with your makeup collection, you're in your 20s, I mean, you can literally wear these and feel amazing because it will not cover what you don't need to cover. On the opposite side, if you are 40, 50, 60 years old, less is more. It will show your true beauty without emphasizing the fine lines, the pores, anything like that. And it's just so easy to apply. Beautiful product from Shantikai. And the one that I use today is the Just Skin Tinted Moisturizer. This is kind of like your everyday kind of like well it's a tinted moisturizer it also have spf 15 now this will not replace your spf i know shantekai has an amazing spf i haven't tried it just yet but if you are debating between this one and this one right here now that i have tried it i do have a lot of freckles and i do have a couple of sun spots this one right here will give you more coverage i know unbelievable right <laughs> the moisturizer one will give you more coverage than this one right here so if you're looking for just a little bit more coverage it's not that it's gonna cover completely it's not a full coverage product not at all but it will give you just a little bit more coverage so i like them both again for different reasons like for example this one i have been loving it during summertime because it's just so lightweight but this one right here i feel comfortable using it feeling that my skin which is dry receive a nice moisture from my base product and yet i can use it year round love them both now for my under eye area i do have very dark under eye circles like really really blue dark blue <laughs> under eye circles and it's really hard for me to find a concealer that will actually conceal that area that I actually will cover all those dark under eye circles and I usually have to go with a color corrector but I have found that the Chantecai Le Camouflage Stilo that's the trick for me I need to use just a little bit more than I will use with any other typical concealers but it's creamy yet lightweight that it doesn't cake up and it doesn't emphasize those fine lines that we have under our eyes at least I do have a lot because I suffer of allergies I also work a lot in front of the computer and I squint quite a bit perhaps you have seen me sometimes when I have my eyes a little bit irritated I squint like a lot <laughs> and I do have a lot of fine lines under my eyes so anyhow my friends this one right here actually I'm super impressed about it because I thought you know what it's very hard to find a really good concealer that will actually cover those under eye circles and this does a trick for me now if I want just a little bit more obviously I will still have to go with a color corrector but this product is beautiful now to set my under eye area or just buff finish my entire makeup however you want to do it I usually do not like to set all of my face with powders simply because I just because I do have dry skin I don't want to you know look cakey but none of the products of Shantekai will do so that's I think that's the main thing about Shantekai that every time that you apply your makeup you'll find that is so soft so beautiful i mean honestly every time that i use a full face of shantikai i feel like a princess and i'm not saying it lightly it, like a princess in the way that you know like it's gentle it's elegant it's sophisticated it's soft it's not loud yet it looks beautiful going back to that finishing powder or setting powder and i'm so happy that they brought it back for the holidays last year i rave and actually include this powder on my favorites of 2019 and for a person of dry skin to include a powder and a person that doesn't really like to use a lot of powders 
this means a lot it's now available isn't it this gorgeous i mean even if you are planning to give it as a gift for somebody that you know will use powders this is beautiful it doesn't i mean it's not cakey it's not super matte it's matte but not flat you know it just has not even a luminosity, it's just so natural and beautiful. And I like this shade in particular for my under eyes because it brightens a little bit my under eye area. Now let's move on into bronzers. And I mean, duh, these two right here, oh, these are beautiful. I have right here Goa and today I apply Sirena. I think out of the two, Sirena is the one that I love the most because of my skin tone, my undertone. This is a little bit more golden tone, while Goa is a little bit more reddish in tone. I mean, it could be taken as a, you know, a little bit... I shouldn't say that this one is cooler in tone. I still find it to be warmer, but if in comparison between the two, obviously this will be, you know, falling into the cooler side. But I really love this shade too, Sirena. I, I mean, I love them both. They are a big chalet formula. They are very easy to apply. They blend seamlessly. I also like to use Sirena in particular as an eyeshadow base. So if I'm using, for example, I'm going to be talking about the luminescent eyeshadows, I just use it as a base and it's just so beautiful they are just gorgeous i know shantikai they also have other bronzers in a cream form i haven't tried those yet oh that's another thing that is on my wish list are you gonna count what's on my wish list i hope that you do so otherwise i will be no matter what leaving it on the description box below so you will see oh my gosh santa i have been good <laughs> Please bring me these items. Okay, okay, so now going into blushes, believe it or not, I only, I mean, I do have blushes from Shantekai. Unfortunately, this baby right here, I do have both the Whale and the Manta Ray. The Manta Ray perhaps is my favorite one because it's coral in tone and it comes also with a beautiful highlighter. I don't think it's anymore available at Shantekai's website. And believe it or not, I do not have more blushes from Shantekai. I don't have the single blushes and those are also on my wish list. I would love to get the one with a little, I mean, each of them they have their name, but I don't know their names. So I like the one with the little elephant, also the one with the bee, the one with the horse looks beautiful too, and the one with the butterfly. But I do have one of their cheek gelés. So this is the cream formulation, and this in particular is in the shade Lively. Now I purchased this one right here on their last sale. I think they have kind of like a mid-year sale, which you want to make sure you are subscribed to their email because that's the only way that you will get notified whenever they have a sale, which is really rare. I mean, literally is two times a year. Sylvie's birthday and then the holidays and then that's it. <laughs> so you better take advantage of the sale. Anyhow, my friends, so I have it in the shade Lively and is gorgeous. This blush is gorgeous you just need a very little amount and even if you use like if you think you apply too much it just blends so beautifully now the best way to apply these blushes and as recommended by Angela Barthel again educator at Shantikai is with your finger so use your ring finger and that's how you will see me on the demonstration on how I applied it today with your finger just tap 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 motions and I mean, doesn't leave you any streaks, marks, nothing. They suggested to do it with your fingers because yes, you can do it with a brush, absolutely, but the best application, again, with your fingers. And yes, I would love to get from this one right here, there's a shade called Happy. There's a third shade too, it looks a little bit more vibrant, but you know what? The formulation is so spot on that I will not be as scared to get that one too. Oh my goodness, my wish list is getting longer. And then for highlighter, honestly, if I was to make perhaps the tag of like what product I will keep in my collection for my entire life, this will be a product that will be there, but unfortunately, is not available anymore. I will show it on the footage, but this one right here is that Eclat Brilliant. 
if I find it somewhere else, I will make sure to, you know, leave a link down below because this is the most gorgeous highlighter it has ever existed to me. To my point of view, I'm using it on this cheek right here. It's stunning. But Shantekai also have on this format right here a highlighter. And also there is a highlighter in the powder form. I think it comes in a little pebble. I have seen it actually in person on a Blue Mercury store and it looks stunning. But you know what? A trick that Angela gave me is to use this luminescent eyeshade in the shade Cheetah for my skin tone. And I use it on this cheek right here. And you know what? It gives me a very beautiful luminosity to the skin. It actually looks more like a glow from within rather than, you know, like a strong highlighter. I think such an amazing trick. And if you haven't watched the live video that I did with Shantekai, I mean, go and watch it after you watch this video. But Angela, who has a deeper complexion, used this luminescent eyeshade in Lion. This one right here. And it looked stunning on her. I and mean, like, what a great idea. Some of the luminescent eyeshades, they do have glitter, but these two in particular, they don't. So they look beautiful on the skin. And since we are talking about the luminescent eyeshades, what about if we go to the eyes? definitely do not miss out on the luminescent eyeshades. They have right now a variety of them, different shades. You just saw Cheetah, Lion. There's one that I really want to get to, I think it's Giraffe. That looks super pretty too. One of my favorite ones is Pangeline, and this will come to no surprise to you. I love mauve tones, I love purple tones, I love pinky shades. This is a perfect, perfect shade for me. This is gorgeous, amazing. Let me just swatch it here for you. I mean, isn't that beautiful? And then I do have the two luminescent eyeshades in Crane and Zebra. I'm using Zebra right now on my eyelid. And this one right here is more like a pinkish tone, has a subtle peachy tone in there. Someone asked me if this compares to the Soleil luminescent eyeshade, and no it doesn't. In fact, I created a second video, a side to the life, second video trying again these eyeshadows and doing a full demo on natural light and I can't compare right there. So just in case, if you wanna take a look at it, is there for you? Beautiful shade right there. Again, I have it on the middle of my eyelids. And then this one right here is Crane, which it has a little bit more of like a burgundy undertone. Gorgeous shade. This will give you an amazing, smoky eye, easy on the eyes. I mean, all the glam that you want is here. I'll show it to you right here. There you go. All of these are just so stunning, so beautiful. And since we're here, let's do Lion. And also let's swatch Cheetah right here. Look at those shades, aren't they really gorgeous? I think there's one that is kind of like taupey. It's called Rhino. I don't remember, but I mean like, you will not go wrong with any of these eyeshadows. These are those one and then eyeshadows, period. I mean, gorgeous. And then I really love their Le Chrome Lux Eye Duos. I do have a couple of them. I have right here Kenya and I mean, I guess you know why I like it, right? Those purpley mauve tones right there. And then I'm using on my eyelids Monte Carlo, not both of the shades, but just this shade right here. Oh my gosh, you have to see this shade. Look at this shade right here. So I'm using this one right here on the outer third of my eyelid. And I mean, glorious. And this is the beauty again of Shantekai. They are eyeshadows that are very elegant. They do not emphasize the fine lines. If you have folds on your eyelids like I do or hooded eyelids, they are of thin consistency, so they are just very forgiving on the eyelids and you, they will make your makeup look, again, I mean, I don't know what other word to use, but sophisticated, elegant, um, a little bit understated, but yet there. I mean, like, it's just 
they they are just divine you will not go wrong whether you do these type of duo eyeshadows or the luminescent eyeshades also the trio eyeshadows i don't know if they will have it available so if you are even looking for less um satin and more into the matte side for example the safari trio is just gorgeous and they also have right now the wolf i think it is I haven't tried that one yet, that's more into the green tones. The Safari Trio from the fall collection is more of like earthy tones. All of them beautiful, you will not go wrong. Those right there, they are definitely more of that understated type of eyeshadows. I don't know where, I'm like, it just disappeared from my eyes. Ah, it was here, but I will show the footage where I'm actually doing my eyeliner. The eyeliner, also a beautiful product. I highly recommend it. Mostly if you have my type of eyes, I do have a lot of holes in my eyes. I have hooded eyes and some liquid eyeliners. They are very hard to apply on my eyelids. I mean, I have to kind of like, you know, extend my, my skin, but then it's not perfect. Every time that I look for a liquid eyeliner, I want a tip that is not too firm, that is still precise, but a little bit bendable, and that the actual product will come out with easy. So definitely recommending that, and who knows where it went. I mean, it's just right here, I have a mess. <laughs> but anyhow, my friends, the next product is the ear mask. So this mascara, I was like, I remember when there was the Silby Cell mid-year, I was like tempted to buy it, but I was like, why? Why the price tag? You know, what's so special about these? And then I understood that it is actually a hybrid between a mascara and a lash conditioner. So it will help them grow healthier and more full too so this type of mascara is a type of mascara that i will use on a daily basis when i'm not having too much makeup like for example i have pre-record a lot of videos and i decided to take a few days off i not that everybody wants to know but i haven't been feeling really well and i had to kind of like a step back a little and just you know take it easy on myself anyhow those days i still had to you know go to the store run some errands and do stuff and this mascara has been there for me it coated my lashes beautifully is black really nice black it gave me length it gave me a very very subtle volume it's not a lot but it's perfect perfect for the everyday wear and then for lips i haven't tried any of their lip liners oh talking about pencils and liners also i really want to try they do have this eyeliner that is kind of like a creamy color kind of like a neutral tone for the waterline that one i'm really curious to try anyhow moving on with lipsticks i mean the lip bells these are fantastic they apply you don't even need a lip liner i mean they apply so well they are hybrid between a satin lipstick and a balm so nourishing so soft they just apply seamlessly they are super comfortable you will need to reapply them but i don't mind they are just beautiful oh and by the way talking about reapplying they also have come out with matte lipsticks in the crayon form i think there are four shades right now i haven't tried any of them but you know i'm curious to see the formulation right there so i have a few right here on my favorite ones one is honeysuckle i don't know if this is still available that's from the hummingbird collection but i don't think it's available anymore what is available are the ones from the fall collection and i love plumeria tamarind i also love acacia tamarind is your perfect fall shade while i consider acacia your perfect pinky shade like everyday shade and then the one that i will show first on my demonstration is the shade baobab is gorgeous it's a pinky tone but it's kind of like a pinky but it's very pretty i mean it makes your lips look very healthy i'm curious to try i think there's a shade tambori and i know a lot of people recommend that one like a nude shade i haven't tried it yet but i'm very tempted to do so and then shantekai has brought back the lip crystals also from last year's holiday collection and those are gorgeous and the one in rose quartz is the one that i'm using today don't be afraid of all the glitter particles around it mm. 
I cannot feel them. It doesn't feel greedy. It just gives a beautiful shine to the lips. It actually looks more like if you had apply a satin lipstick and then in the middle you have apply a little bit of a lip gloss, something like that. I mean, it's not super metallic. I mean, again, it's that beautiful elegance that only Shante Guys knows how to do. I'm talking about lip glosses too. Their lip glosses are gorgeous. I mean, Angelina Jolie made them famous for a reason because honestly, they look amazing they look fantastic your lips will look youthful healthy extra juicy lovely and then to finish up my makeup i went ahead and used the pure rose water obviously like i said it's just a lovely product okay my friends and i think i mean i hope i'm not forgetting anything but all of these are my recommendations for this shantikai holiday sale or any type of moment that you are able to get shantikai products these are products that i have tried and that are actually working for me that if i was running out of any of these products i will repurchase again and then as you can tell i have a little wish list right there that i don't know i think it will be fun to do kind of like a holiday guide wish list i don't know i'm trying to plan you know to do something for this weekend or the following week because i know we're gonna get bombarded with sales but i think this specific sale the one from shantakai is amazing 30% off and even 25% off if you're not subscribed to the emails regardless it's a great great discount I mean like honestly even if you are trying to purchase something from say the last sale from Sephora you had to be a Rouge member to get 20% off this right here I mean I think it's an incredible incredible deal for an incredible brand, a brand that is not only a luxury brand, taking the tag that they are a luxury brand, is a brand that actually that your products work, that they are quality products. And I think that's super important, but what is more important about Shantekai is their mission. With every collection, they do have a mission to help the environment, to help the animals, endangered species, also indigenous communities. So there's so much good in the brand that I I feel that they really need to be highlighted for that because they are bringing something good as they take from the earth they bring back to earth and i think that that, that just speaks volumes to me a brand with a purpose and mostly a luxury brand and now i'm putting back the luxury brand because if you are a person that loves luxury products like me we know very well that not all luxury brands give back to earth anyhow my friends i hope that you really enjoy this video that you find it helpful and that you are ready for the sale which again starts november 19th if you are already subscribed to the email notifications from Shantekai, you will receive that invitation. I will keep you informed of that too. And then for those who are not, November 23rd is the day that you can start shopping with 25% off. And now I would love to know from you, what are the products that you're planning to pick up during this sale? And while you're at it, and if you haven't done so yet, I think you're waiting too long. I think that you should consider and subscribe to my channel. Ring that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. And do not forget to come and follow me on Instagram because right there I keep you posted of the new beauty releases, when something comes back in stock, I give you close-up images of the products that I'm reviewing and much more. And before you leave, do not forget to go and check Steffi at Steffi Glam. I will be leaving the link to her YouTube channel on my description box below. If you like this video, do not forget to give it a thumbs up, also share with family and friends. And until the next time, I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful day. Bye. This magic we keep.